have a different, different tuna. Thai sweet chili. Yum. We're getting tofus. Marinated. We could get the big one and have more tofu later in the week. We could marinate it ourselves, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> Has just come back from London Bridge and <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's had toasty, she's had creme brulee. Oh, I've had a creme brulee croissant <laughs> and it was unreal. And now she wants whipped cream. It's, it's soy whipped cream. <laughs> oh, we still got our frozen ones. <gasps> oh, cookie dough. All the cheeses. Heaven. Right, so we need. <laughs> but look, look. £7.49. Outrageous. Outrageous. Oh, look. Oh. Chopsy salt almond butter. Oh. That sounds unreal. Can we make pancakes tomorrow? Yes, we can make pancakes. Maybe I should get the whipped cream for them. Do it. Treat yourself. I mean, I won't eat it. I'm not a whipped cream kind of girl. Oh, I'm a whipped cream girl <laughs> every day. <laughs> you know when you get. Sunday everybody so I am having a bit of a blitz um, I've just made myself a black coffee I've organized I have organized the cupboards um, they're kind of like an organized mess <laughs> um, but I've just put everything in jars and places and it just looks a little bit more neater I've also redone my plants which is really exciting so I've rehomed this one. This was what my money plant was in, this pot, but I've put this one from Bare Minerals in. I think that just looks really nice there. And then, and they're going into the bathroom. Sorry, I'm gonna probably show you the toilet. Um, but I've bought a little plant pot for my fig tree and they say that fig leaf plants like to be in the bathroom and also not too much light. So I feel like that was a good spot and then it gets the condensation from the water. Um, and then, and then I've rehomed my money plant because she is just thriving. She looks amazing. Um, she's got loads of babies growing out, so she needed a new home. Bless herself. Really happy with her. She's over a year old. Happy birthday, babe. But yeah, she's doing really well. You can see like loads of babies are sprouting. So yeah, and this is Hell's one, which I think we might need to like just put in um fill this bit up because it's this plastic pot's a bit um too small. So yeah. I've had a productive day today. I love Sundays like this when you just want to get everything kind of organised. So my next job whilst I'm watching Friends is to have a coffee and I'm going to be organising that under drawer and that under drawer because they're just stashed with crap. So that's what my next job is to do now. morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog the sun is finally out it was snowing earlier so i was supposed to go and meet up with my friend this morning but i think me and angie are probably well hopefully she's around to meet up a little bit later on but i thought i would start this weekly vlog with a little unboxing it is the first week out of proper lockdown which is just madness i have a couple of dates booked which is really exciting so i have got actually quite a lot to show you so i actually might do two vlogs this week which is just madness because there's actually things going on but i did just receive a lovely order from pretty lavish which i am an absolute fan of and have been for a very long time i've just ordered some pieces which were kind of gifted to me so yeah i thought i would do a little bit of an unboxing with you and show you what i got okay so first up is this two-piece from chloe lloyd's new collection it's this gorgeous linen two-piece i've had to roll it up i might have to ask for a size down i usually go for a small but i think i've lost a little bit of weight so i'm gonna go down to an extra small and see if that fits a bit better but yeah it's this really Really lovely set it's like a really lovely oatmeal and I think that'll just be really lovely even open with a little body underneath and these trousers these shorts are really cute they've got a really nice stretchy bit at the back as well really lovely shorts I definitely want to get these in a size lower they are super cute I love the fit of them and the shape of them I think they're so sweet I think I just need a size down but I just think this is such a lovely chuck on outfit you can definitely dress up 
or dress it down really love this really love the feel of it super soft like i said this is the chloe lloyd collection which is out before this went out last week so yeah, go and check if you can get your hands on it okay so next up is this jumpsuit it is so lovely i ordered it actually in a six and an eight and i'm so glad i did i definitely am a six now in pretty lavish it's so sweet it's this really nice like thick linen material it's got some really nice pockets a nice tie on the waist so you can have it undone or not if you want and i just think this is a really good piece for english summer i just think it's so lovely definitely could dress it up or dress it down It'd be really nice with some heels or just with some trainers and it's just a little bit smart and it's just again put together because it's just an all-in-one which is just so ideal um, and then you can just accessorize it with jackets trousers jackets trainers and yeah really like this really love this like i said i'm wearing a size six super comfortable and still quite a lot of space on the stomach so if you do get a little bloated like i do um it's quite nice to undo and it doesn't look that bad actually undone it's quite cute actually it looks a bit more of a kind of like a child's play suit like you know when they're a bit longer and baggy down here but when you do it up it just like gives a bit more of a cinched in waist but yeah really love this and super happy i do believe it comes in a nice oatmeal color like the shorts i just tried on and also in a khaki green but i love my black outfits so i knew i was going to get more wear out of this one than any other color next up is this super cute little dolly tunic dress it comes in black and pink and i did order it in the pink as well so i'll show you what that looks like but i got it in an extra small and i was a bit nervous about this v-neck being a bit too revealing but it actually comes down perfectly and i just absolutely adore this dress it's super comfortable and super floaty and i just love these like bellow sleeves i just think it looks so sweet I absolutely adored wearing these types of dresses in the summer last year. I just find them super comfortable and just so cute. So like I said, I got an extra small. And it also has this like really cute frilly detail on the collar. So pretty. And again, a dress you can definitely dress up, dress down. I just, I know I'm going to get so much wear out of them because they're just super comfortable and just so airy. You can definitely pair this with some heels as well. I think that look so sweet so yeah really happy with this i'm going to try on the pink for you as well really thought i wouldn't be a pink girl but this is so cute this dress in the pink is so sweet and i feel like it gives you a bit more visual of the details of the dress it's got this really nice drop down hem tear under the boobs and on the um kind of like just below the hip so it just gives a really nice here look super cute and again with the bellow sleeves and the really nice frilly collar i think this is super sweet i very like i said very not me but i actually really like it and i think it's just one of those really lovely chuck on pieces it's like a really nice linen as well so it's super floaty definitely ha definitely i'm gonna have to get some like cycle shorts in a, a nude color to wear under this because i think it would be a little bit breezy outside wearing this but yeah really lovely i can just imagine this paired with some sandals basket bag or some trainers and just like a really nice chuck on dress to go for breakfast and also this would actually be really nice on holiday as it's this really nice pink this would be lovely in spain so yeah really happy with this i will leave all of the outfits down below i just think this is so cute so i thought i'd show these with you and yeah like i said i'm an extra small and a size six hello guys so we've just done a little shoot the sun is out but yeah it's gonna get a bit gloomy it looks like it's gonna rain it snowed this morning but um we're going to go to our local florist called Ber Berkson? Berkson. Berkson. And get some flowers, get a little bit of fresh air, and then head back home to have some lunch. It's our Hollywood. Okay, a little bit of a fail. They're closed on a Monday. <laughs> um, but we we're just walking back, and we we're just walking past all these cafes. And everyone's sitting outside, and it's just so nice. Like, obviously, the day I'm filming this is the first Monday that everything's opening up so it's just so lovely to see a little bit of normality yeah. um so we're definitely one day gonna go and sit and have a coffee which is just so nice like i really miss being able to do that i don't know if you can hear me um but we have booked we've booked a restaurant on friday we're going to a restaurant near us called bar 32 so i'll take you along to that we're going for a mid 
Mid-Friday lunch. Mid-Friday lunch. It'll be like being back at the office. Yeah, literally. Oh, I've never had that experience. But yeah, it'll be really nice. So I'll take you guys along to that because that's our first time. Have you ever been to one of the branches of no. the university? They have one in Brighton. I think so. I feel like they've, I've, I've been to one somewhere. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we're going to go to there on a Friday. So we're testing the waters of our yeah. local restaurants. Local eateries. <laughs> local eateries. <laughs> I'm so excited, but yeah. And then tomorrow, actually, I'm going to Megan's. They've opened up a table, uh, what's it called? Like a terrace? Pop up terrace on Clapham Park. So I'll take you along there just to give you a bit of a heads up of what it's like and what I order and what it looks like, just in case you guys are interested. goodness this looks so good we've got like leftover potatoes and stuff from our roast dinner last night we've grated our own little bits of cheese salade this looks like a very good monday luncheon do you want the little spatula so good a day um <laughs> lump of cheese <laughs> go go stunning stunning and then watch flip it over. Yeah. Goodbye, cheese. coconut um, vegetable stew using like Sri Lankan um, ingredients and spices and then I've done some roasted paprika chickpeas on top so I'm going to tuck into that. Good evening guys so I thought I would remove my makeup with you and just kind of go step by step with the products I'm using in my nighttime routine. I am doing a collaboration with Clarence over on my Instagram, which is really exciting. So I thought I would show you the, I thought I'd show you the products that I am using in the live, just so that you can see it on here and you can kind of get an idea on here as well. So first off, I'm gonna go in with the Clarence Total Cleansing Oil. I really like to go in with an oil first because I think that's just gonna really help pick up the dirt and really just help massage and release the makeup dirt pollution off of your face. So yes, I'm gonna do that first. I'm just gonna get a cloth and with my hands, I'm just going to really massage this into my face. It just smells incredible, which is just like a spa, which is just amazing. Anything that just sticks to your face, this is just going to sweep it all up. And then with a cloth, little hand rise over here. So I'm using these face halo cloths, which are reusable cloths, which are really good for the environment and they just really help remove the makeup off your face. As you can see, that's literally taking it all off, which is just amazing, just in one go. And then I'm gonna go in with the Clarins Purifying Gentle Foaming Cleanser. Uh, this is for combination to oily skin, and this is what I like to do for my double cleanse. And it's got some really nice exfoliating properties in here. So I'm now gonna go in with a mask, gonna be using the Clarins SOS Hydra. This is their refreshing hydration mask. Like a really nice refreshing mask to put on my face. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes, go make myself a cup of tea, finish off watching an episode of Friends, and then I'm gonna come wash this off and I'm gonna call it a night. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning. I've just taken a sip of my second coffee of the morning, but I'm just quickly trying on. Oh, better. Just trying on some pieces I've received from H&M. 
this is their wildflower collection it is super beautiful i'm not wearing a bra so these little mamas are gonna need some support <laughs> yeah really obsessed how beautiful is this and it comes in this really nice ditzy color print i'll show you um but i did get a size six and i'm between a size six and eight so if you are smaller than me I'll, or have a smaller chest I don't know, I, you'd have to definitely get it taken in unless you're happy with it being quite ba baggy around your boobs um, because I think I still need some support and it is backless so it's a bit of a tricky one um, like I said I'm a 32 double D and I'm a TA size 6 so um, yeah it's still on the big side but it's just so sweet so definitely probably if you do want it get it and then get it taken in because it is absolutely stunning probably just to tighten it around the side here but what a gorgeous print it's in this really nice linen material and just the softness of this wild flower print is just beautiful i absolutely love that and then this beautiful dress oh wow it feels so like ethereal and i feel like i should be in a countryside garden <laughs> it is so beautiful i'm so obsessed with it so like i was saying that the other print um the other dress it has it in this print as well which i just think is so beautiful i adore the sleeves on this i think this is so cute and what i love is that it has a tie around at the back so you can really cinch yourself in and get some support on your babies but yeah really love this i think this is so sweet with some heels trainers like a really nice trainers jacket and a basket bag just to like grunge it a bit would just look super gorgeous i absolutely adore this how beautiful is that so a massive thank you to h&m for kindly sending these over to me i will leave these down below they'll probably sell up really quickly but i'll try and get this posted as quick as possible it would have gone live today is tuesday so it would have gone live last week today last week but what i'll do is i'll leave the links anyway so then you can save them and then hopefully and i'm sure they will um they will be getting more stock or someone will return them and you can grab them um but yeah really lovely english summer outfit for like garden parties and stuff i think it's so beautiful guys so i am now just filming some outfits for i'm making outfits for eating out because it's gonna be cold but we still want to look nice so the plan is to do a couple of those and then i feel like that will help me be inspired <laughs> so i first got on this blazer um black body black trousers and jumper just to keep warm so i'm gonna film this this is my so this is my new setup so i do a little bit of a move around with the furniture but yeah that's the setup at the moment so i'm gonna film a couple of outfits for this and then I am going to shoot a dress quickly for my friend. Um, and then hopefully by then I'll be able to sit down, do some editing, maybe have a little bit of porridge. I'm not eating till 3.45, so I think I'm going to have like carbs, like something to eat, like oatmeal, which is like a light carb, if that makes sense. And then I won't be that hungry and then I'll just like eat a salad yeah and just like have a bit of a heavier like eating in the day and then a lighter um lunch later so maybe that this like maybe megan's will be my dinner who knows anyway long story short i'm going to crack on with this plus i've got a bit of energy okay so i've wrapped up warm and i'm gonna go and have a drink and dinner 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 with my lovely friends um chloe and tula i just need to get my keys I'm gonna have out the door. Yes, I did. Oh, I'm getting Babo Boom on Friday. Good morning, guys. It is a new day, a new fragile day. Um, I have some kind of event meetings today, which will be really lovely. I have my first one with Penn Halligans, which will be so nice. I'm really excited to actually meet the team. We've just only met via like social media and email so it'll be really nice to go and meet them and try out some new products i've only had the fragrance favorite absolutely love it i'm actually wearing it now i thought i had to because you know support the brand that i'm going to see and then yeah so i've got a meeting with them and then i've got a meeting slash shopping uh, experience with michael mason mason michael so i will take you along to that but um yeah last night got a little, a little bit hectic um just i'm just not used to drinking it's just oh i'm so embarrassed of myself but anyway <laughs> onwards and upwards and it's been a bit of a busy morning 
but yeah ready to go just wearing like a super easy light like outfit just because it is sunny out there but i think it's still gonna be a little bit cold so wearing something super light i've just got a a vest jumper on to keep myself warm so yes yeah, so i'm gonna head there now and um yeah take you guys along with me <laughs> So I am back from the shops. It was really lovely, just very forlorn and to feel like I'm not used to going into Central. But it was just so nice and just such a change and the weather was just beautiful. So really lovely. I got home, just made some lunch and I've just sorted out bits and bobs and now I'm just going to sit down. I've just made myself a coffee um, and just kind of run through everything with Clarence. I have a meeting with them in two hours, so I wanted to kind of really prep myself. Okay, so I am all prepped to go live with Clarence. I've just got these really cute pajamas on, because I thought it'd be really nice just to wear some bougie pajamas. These are from Emma Wallace, and they're just absolutely stunning. If you are in for a treat and absolutely love silky pajamas, I will leave them down below. Pretty bougie, but they are stunning. But I've just set up candles and everything, and then I've got my products like ready to go and like a list because I'm worried I'll just forget all the ingredients because there's so many ingredients and everything to remember um, when doing it. But I'm hoping with like the pauses of just like taking off my makeup anyway, it will be okay. I'm hoping. Um, I'm going live in 10 minutes, which is so nerve wracking. Um, but yeah. If you, I guess you'll watch this, either this will go live on Tuesday. So if you are watching this, I have got two more Wellness Wednesdays with Clarence going live in the following weeks. So if you do want to come and join over on Instagram, if you don't follow me already, or if you don't follow Clarence already, then yeah, every, for the next two weeks at 6pm on the Clarence UK, I'll leave it down below. Um, I'm going to be doing Wellness Wednesdays, which is really lovely. So I think the week this goes live, that Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a makeup look, which would be really nice. So tonight is like pamper nighttime routine. Next week is the 6pm. Next week is the um, makeup, which would be lovely. I feel like that's just a bit more in my, in my comfort zone. And then on, I can't remember the next one. But yeah, I'll leave it down below. And leave it down below and also as well I have like a little um I'm a leaflet um poster of what I'm going to be doing so really exciting so yeah I've got 10 minutes and I just I'm just waiting for it to just take over because I just want to get it over and done with I've just done a little run through I might do a little run through again just to be safe no harm in just rehearsing a little bit and um yeah I won't be looking like this I'll be all clean zen face mask so guys i've just done a live with clarence i think it went okay not as well as i did like a little run through and i felt like i was so on board with what i wanted to say um but it went well it went fine <laughs> even though there was this account called pingu and they were like do you have an old what is it what's it called an only fans only fans page and i was like ah oh, like i just didn't know how to respond um but it did go really well and everyone was had hells my cheerleader i'm not going to show you her um because she's changing um i had hells i also had um my friends arletta and jess they were on it and then my management april my cheerleaders um but yeah no all done now and Hells has just made me a little drink. This isn't alcohol, it's one of my CBD drinks that I really enjoy. I'm trying to just lay a bit off of, um, lay off a bit of alcohol. Oto, O-T-T-O. This is elderflower, cucumber and licorice. And I really enjoy them and I'm really enjoying CBD. It's really lovely and I put it in a wine glass so it feels like 
I'm drinking. So me and Hazel are gonna do a little unboxing for each other. Um, she's just ordered some bits and I obviously went shopping today. So yeah, I'm just a bit overwhelmed, but it just went well, which was amazing. So yeah, tonight for dinner, we're having baked aubergine rice and broccoli, which will be really lovely. So yeah, so I'm gonna chill for a bit. Oh wow, delicious. My little chef. So we've got some miso, aubergine, chili broccoli, and some rice. Yum! Good morning guys. So I thought I would finish off this vlog with a little bit of an unboxing. I'm going to unbox some of the bits and leave the H&M home haul for the next vlog because I did order some H&M home bits as well but I wanted to quickly show you the reason why I did go into central London was because I was invited kindly to some events. First up was with Penn Halligans. If you don't know about Penn Halligans, Penn Halligans is a beautiful perfume fragrance brand which has been around for over 150 years and it's just been kept in the family which I just think is so lovely and each individual fragrance has just such a beautiful enchanting story it's just stunning it's such a beautiful brand so they kindly invited me along to go and trial out some of their other fragrances I do have one already it's called the favorite and it's so beautiful so I'm really enjoying that but they really kindly invited me to go and pick out another one and I'm actually quite shocked with the one I picked out I I picked out it's called the the converted duchess rose so the duchess rose is inspired by pen halligan i think it's william his name's william or george oh, here we go george so yeah so this is inspired by george and halligan's daughter and like i said it's a rose fragrance which i actually don't think i would have gone for i'm so much more into my warmer musky tones this is beautiful it's just so so fresh and so light and it has just got like it said it's not your normal rose fragrance that smells amazing it just smells beautiful and it's just such a strong smell like i came out and i went into um with my next appointment and i could just smell myself it was so beautiful so humongous thank you to pen halligans for sending this over like gifted me this and this is the bottle it's so beautiful the fragrances which are like inspired or dedicated to like a family friend member they have the like gold head on top and this is a fox so yeah so or a wolf no it's a wolf that was very lovely and then they also did some personalization which i think is really sweet if you have a friend or family member who's so into their fragrances and and mainly perhaps on pen halligans then you can go and get something personalized kind of gave me this pink leather holder with my initials on it and i got my initials with the rose because i felt like that played quite nicely so it's kind of like a little bit of a protector which is quite nice for traveling so they gave me that which was really nice and yeah pen halligan so beautiful i will leave both the fragrances that i have been loving in the links down below and then they did a collaboration with a brand called pretty ballerina and if you have heard of pretty ballerina this is the logo they're kind of dotted around london it's like chelsea near new bond street it's so beautiful it's a brand made in new yorker and um yeah they kindly gave me an opportunity to pick out a couple of pairs of shoes they've just done a collection with a lady called jenny walton and i picked out which shoes did i pick out so i picked out these ones which are being delivered they're like these really gorgeous black mules with golden buckle and i think i'm just gonna get so much wear out of them i've been on the hunt for that's a better picture i've been on the hunt for the gucci ones but yeah this brand is beautiful and i thought i'd give that a go and it'd be like a shoe that i'd always wear and then I was gonna get them in the black but as I was getting a black pair anyway I thought I'd go for the nude and I think they're so sweet and just so beautiful so I got them in the nude and I haven't worn like dolly shoes in such a long time but I keep spotting them like every time I pin something on Pinterest I always just spot them so yeah and they just look so elegant and sweet so yeah I picked up the nude pair because I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of them in the summer with a pair of jeans or like a really nice maxi dress I think that will look so lovely if I just wore like a big black grungy maxi dress I can like make it a bit more elegant and chic with a pair of little dolly shoes so I thought that was a really lovely idea they are so comfortable they are beautiful you know when you just put on a pair of shoes and you just instantly just feel incredible and you just know they're not they're not going to rub which is obviously a huge bonus I tried the black version of those shoes and I 
absolutely fell in love with them but obviously I had very gratefully only the opportunity to pick out two pairs as greedy as that sounds but honestly I couldn't decide there were so many beautiful pieces and the back black pair were my I think my absolute favorite if I've got a picture I'll leave a picture on the screen and then I went over to Michael Mason and Michael Mason is mainly known probably more so in the behind the scenes fashion industry when it comes to he is the designer of hats for brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Dior. So he's the one that he's the one brands go to to create magnificent, beautiful hats. The reason I went pretty much yesterday with all these brands is because obviously the reopening of, of shops, they wanted to do a bit of exposure on social media. So they very kindly invited me along to pick out some bits. So firstly, whilst it's at the top, I got a little cute tote bag, which was made out of just old fabric from his factories. He just had lots of leftover fabric. Um, and yeah, he just made some little tote bags, which I think is beautiful. Obviously not Michael Mason himself, but the company. And then I got an incredible hat, something just very different, something that I wouldn't actually normally go for. We were given a selection to pick from and I just went for something quite extravagant. And yeah, I'm very excited. I actually can't wait to try this on and dress it up. It's just out of all the hats, like I wanted something a bit more summery and I really loved the straw hats. The straw hats were just incredible but they weren't on offer obviously because it's a very high-end brand as I said he does a lot of designing for Chanel so there was a small selection which we could kindly pick from and this was one of them and it was just so different and I picked it because I absolutely loved these chains I just think it's so fun I mean I've got my hair up right now so it's not going to fit properly but like if I have my hair down really cool outfit on like a really like summery outfit I just feel like that would look so cool and I really like the details of the rings on the hat as well just so different so yeah I just thought why not like just be a bit more bit bold and I feel like on a lunch date that'd be quite fun so yeah so I went for this the the fit of it is beautiful um and I went for a brown because I feel like I could wear this in the autumn as well so yeah that was very lovely and then yeah then I came home I think I spoke to you and then I did my Clarence live which went really well actually I was really happy with that so yeah so thank you so much for watching for the first time and I think in a while I am ending the vlog without it just kind of going into a montage but yeah I am actually going to be vlogging twice this week because I have got and received some amazing bits so next week's vlog is all gonna, it's gonna be about H&M home haul um and it just we're gonna do like a really cute little brunch on Sunday so I really wanted to take you along for that because I wanted to take some photos and we're just gonna set the table up just really sweet and just have fun with it because you know why not Helena and I are going out for lunch tomorrow which is so exciting so yeah so I thought I would do two different vlogs this week because I feel like I've just had so much going on uh, for once <laughs> in a very long time but yeah thank you so much for watching like I said everything's going to be linked down below in the description box if you have any further questions come and comment down below or come find me on Instagram I'll leave my Instagram handle down below as well but other than that thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next vlog bye guys <laughs>